Chapter 5.3, Lipids. Lipids are a diverse group of hydrophobic molecules. Unlike other macromolecules, lipids do not form polymers. The unifying feature of lipids is that they have little or no affinity for water because they consist of mostly hydrocarbons, which form nonpolar covalent bonds. Lipids are highly diverse in form and function. The most biologically important lipids are fats, phospholipids, and steroids. Although fats are not strictly polymers, they are large molecules assembled from smaller molecules via dehydration reactions. A fat is constructed from two kinds of smaller molecules, glycerol and fatty acids. Glycerol is a three-carbon alcohol with a hydroxyl group attached to each carbon. The fatty acid consists of a carboxyl group attached to a long carbon skeleton, often 16 to 18 carbons long. The many nonpolar carbon to hydrogen bonds in the long hydrocarbon skeleton make fats hydrophobic. Fats separate from water because the water molecules hydrogen bond to one another and exclude the fats. The synthesis or the structure of a fat or a triglycerol. This is one of the three dehydration reactions in the synthesis of a fat. In a fat, three fatty acids are joined to a glycerol by an ester linkage, creating a tricyglycerol or a triglyceride. The three fatty acids in a fat can be the same or could be different. Fatty acids vary in length, or number of carbons, and in the number and locations of double bonds. If the fatty acid has no carbon to carbon double bonds, then the molecule is said to be called a saturated fatty acid. That means that it's saturated with hydrogens at every possible position. If the fatty acid has one or more carbon to carbon double bonds formed by the removal of hydrogen atoms from the carbon skeleton, then the molecule is called an unsaturated fatty acid. Here's a side-by-side -side comparison of the saturated and unsaturated fatty acids. A saturated fatty acid is a straight chain, but an unsaturated fatty acid has a kink wherever there is a cis double bond. The kinks caused by the cis double bonds prevent the molecules from packing tightly enough to solidify at room temperature. Fats made from saturated fatty acids are saturated fats. Most animal fats are saturated. They're mainly solid at room temperature. Examples of these include lard and butter. Generally at room temperature, they're going to be solids, but occasionally they may not be. Fats made from unsaturated fatty acids are called unsaturated fats. Plant and fish fats are liquid at room temperature and are known as oils. Example of these fats, such as corn oil, margarine, and olive oil, have a tendency to be liquid and melt very easily when they do come in solid form. The phrase hydrogenated vegetable oils on food labels means that unsaturated fats have been synthetically converted to saturated fats by the addition of hydrogen. Peanut butter and margarine are hydrogenated to prevent lipids from separating out as oil. A diet rich in saturated fats may contribute to cardiovascular disease called atherosclerosis, through plaque deposits. The process of hydrogenating vegetable oils produces saturated fats and also unsaturated fats with trans double bonds. These trans fat molecules contribute more than saturated fats to atherosclerosis. Some unsaturated fatty acids cannot be synthesized by humans and must be supplied by diet. Omega-3 fatty acids are essential fatty acids which are required for normal growth and are thought to provide protection against cardiovascular disease. The major function of fats is energy storage. A gram of fat stores more than twice as much energy as a gram of polysaccharides such as starch. 
Because plants are immobile, they can function with bulky energy storage in the form of starch. Plants use oils when dispersal and compact storage are important, such as seeds. Animals must carry their energy stores with them, so they benefit from having a more compact fuel reservoir of fat. Humans and other mammals store fats as long-term energy reserves in their adipose cells. Those swell and shrink as fat is deposited and withdrawn from storage. Adipose tissue also functions to cushion vital organs such as the kidneys. A layer of fat can function as insulation. This subcutaneous layer is especially thick in whales, seals, and other marine mammals. Phospholipids are major components of cell membranes. Phospholipids have two fatty acids attached to a glycerol and a phosphate group at the third position. The phosphate group carries a negative charge. Additional smaller groups, usually charged or polar, may be attached to the phosphate group to form a variety of phospholipids. The interaction of phospholipids with water is complex. The fatty acid tails are hydrophobic, but the phosphate group and its attachments form a hydrophilic head. Here we can see that structure. You can see the hydrophilic head and the hydrophobic tails on a phospholipid. And you can see the phospholipid bilayer that forms the cell membrane. Here's the formula and the space filling model. Here we can see how the fat sandwich is created with the phospholipids in the bilayer. When phospholipids are added to water, they form assemblages with the hydrophobic tails pointing towards the inside. Phospholipids are arranged as a bilayer at the surface of the cell. The hydrophilic heads are on the outside of the bilayer. That's what's in contact with the aqueous solution, and the hydrophobic tails point towards the inside of the bilayer. The phospholipid bilayer forms a barrier between the cell and the external environment. Phospholipids are the major component of all cell membranes. Steroids such as cholesterol and certain hormones. Steroids are lipids with a carbon skeleton consisting of four fused rings. Different steroids are created by varying the functional groups attached to those rings. Cholesterol, for example, is an important steroid. It's a component in animal cell membranes. Cholesterol is the precursor from which all other steroids are synthesized from. Many of these other steroids are hormones, including the vertebrate sex hormones. Although cholesterol is an essential molecule in animals, high levels of cholesterol in the blood may contribute to cardiovascular disease. Both saturated fats and trans fats exert their negative impact on health by affecting cholesterol levels. Here we can see three different forms of the cholesterol molecule, the molecular, the ball and stick, and the space filling. <laughs>